Halo semuanya, selamat datang di channel saya Paper Stories. Denis Gabor was a British physicist born in the Austro-Hungarian Empire, now Hungary, who won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1971 for his innovations and developments in the holographic method. Denis Gabor was born Gunstsberg Danish, into a Jewish family in Budapest, Hungary. Denis is the eldest child of Gunstsberg Bernard and Jakobovitz Adel. Despite having a religious background, but religion played a small role in his later life and he considered himself agnostic. In 1902, the family received permission to change the name from Gunstsberg to Gabor. He received his diploma at the Technische Hochschule Berlin in 1924, and also the degree of doctor and engineer in 1927. After graduating, Gabor joined Siemens and Hals KG. After fleeing Nazi Germany in 1933, Gabor was invited to England to work in the development of the British Thomson Houston Department in Rugby, Warwickshire. Holography is a technique that allows the scattered light from an object to be recorded and then reconstructed so that the object appears to be in the same relative position as the recorded recording medium. The image changes according to the position and orientation of the changing viewing system in the same way as when the object was still there, so the recorded image will appear in three dimensions, 3D, which is commonly referred to as a hologram. In 1947, while working there he discovered holography, a feat which won him a Nobel Prize in Physics in 1971. Holography is the science that produces holograms, an advanced form of photography that allows images to be recorded in three dimensions. However, holography was not commercially available until the introduction of the laser in 1960. Gabor also researched how humans communicate and listen. The result of his discoveries was the theory of granular synthesis, although the Greek composer Yanis Xenakis stated that mutual cooperation was the first inventor of the synthetic technique, Xenakis, formalized music, forward 13. His work, which he carried out in the late 1940s, was based on earlier work in X-ray microscopy by other scientists, such as Wyczysław Wolfka in 1920 and William Lawrence Bragg in 1939. This discovery is an unexpected result of research carried out in developing an electron microscope at the British company Thomson Houston, BDH, in Rugby City, England. And the company filed a patent in December 1947. This technique is still used today in the use of electron microscopy, where this technique is known as electron holography. But optical holography did not develop much until the innovation of the laser in the 1960s. The word holography comes from the Greek words, hollows, hole, and, graph, writing or painting. Holograms are a product of holographic technology. Holograms are formed from the fusion of two coherent light rays and are microscopic. The hologram acts as a repository for optical information. The optical information will then form an image, scene, or scene. In 1948, Gabor moved from rugby to Imperial College London and in 1958, became professor of applied physics until his retirement in 1967. In addition to being awarded the Nobel Prize, Gabor became a member of the Royal Society of London in 1956, and an honorary member of the Hungarian Academy of Sciences in 1964. Dennis Gabor died in a nursing home in South Kensington, London, on February 9, 1979.